So, Kato, Dan, I thought maybe we could get together and talk about Journey. Right? People all the time assume that I hate games like Artsy, like Journey or Unfinished <laughs> right. One. I think they're awesome. Yeah. Like, I, I think they're great. You just kind of wake up mm -hmm. and it's like, I don't know what my abilities are. I don't know. Like, you get to that first thing where you have to unlock all the like carpet bridges and stuff. Yeah. And like, at first you just walk in, it's like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. Right. And then you go up and you hit one of those like cages or whatever. And it's like, oh, that does that. Oh, and then if I, oh, okay. It actually gives you a sense of discovery instead of like, find five cages and hit X. Right. You know? And what I like about it too is as I'm playing, I'm picking up those scraps and my scarf is getting longer and longer and I'm able to stay in the air longer. And then you see like your first enemy and it hits you and you take like damage. Your scarf gets smaller and it's like, hey, what, what's that all about? You know, I, yeah. thought it, I thought this was a game where I have a scarf yeah. and I fly a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if it's just the moment where that game just clicked for me was when you're kind of sliding down that big kind of sand oh, whatever yeah. and then it kind of shifts to the side yes. and it shows you and there's that big thing in the background and it just looks gorgeous it's not like a lot of smaller games will kind of pick up on a quirky art style and like hey this is retro you know give us give us a few bonus points yeah, for it. Yeah. i think journey is really striking to look <laughs> at but at the same time it's really technically incredible it handles flight in a way that i find really satisfying also which is not you know, it's not easy to do, you know, mm -hmm. there's plenty of people who can't get, you know, quote, platforming, right, unquote, right. you know, or just that feel of weight, and even when you take into account some of the other things you're doing, whether it just be running away from stingray, or things yeah, yeah. you're slogging through the mountain, or even the few times when you actually do a little bit of kind of like platforming, in all that, it just feels really good. You know, there was no one that really stuck with me for that long. There was one person that I was happy because they stopped and like meditated with me for like 30 seconds and I got that trophy or whatever, but uh, yeah, at the end, I think I'd had like three people I'd interacted with but most of the time I was kind of by myself. See, I was really surprised at the end when it does list like all the people mm -hmm. we played with, which I thought was a really excellent touch, by the yeah, way. Yeah. But there was a surprising number of people and it didn't seem like there was any kind of transition between them. It wasn't like, who's this guy? All he wants to do is like, hump my leg. And this other guy is like off doing his own thing. It seems like there was, maybe I just lucked out, there was a kind of a consistency with how people were playing it. Some people were saying, oh, you need to play it twice. You need to play it by yourself and you need to play it online because they're different experiences. I think if you play that game by yourself, you're missing the entire point of that experience. I think so too, and uh, you know, because when I was about to play it, Miller, who reviewed it, told me like, I should play it by myself first and then play with people. Remember, he told me that, and you know, I trust that he knows what he's talking about, obviously, but like, I just, I had heard enough about the game to where I was like, it sounds like that's a pretty big component, is that just meeting people in the world and seeing how you interact and helping each other with the jumping and the floating and everything, and so yeah, I just played multiplayer and I liked that better. Yeah, and especially the ending, I think that it's more powerful when it's like you are two guys slogging up there together. Definitely my game of the year. And like I said, that doesn't discount that I've played a lot of other really fantastic games, but it's refreshing for me to play something where, I say this all the time, but I like shooting people in the face in video games, but at the same time, I like something completely different. How many times though did you die in the motorcycle chase sequence? Not that many times. The quick time event at the end got me every time. Did you guys like or you know put a lot of stock into deciphering the whole you know sand tablet sort of uh, pictures on the wall as like the journey was going on and you know the larger sort of metaphor of like a civilization? A oh death yeah, like the thing that we kind of out. Yeah, like I thought that was really interesting. You know, I was trying to follow along and, and trying to figure out you know where it was taking me and what it was meaning and things like that. Mm -hmm. I like too that they didn't disrobe at the end. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like yeah, pull it <laughs> off and it's like some hey, dumb face. You're a pretty lady. Great. You're a cat person. Yeah, you're a stack, stock image from Getty Images. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. Like they just remain mysterious. You kind of get a sense when you, when you're looking at the tablets and paying attention to those cutscene kind of things. But for the most part, it's just kind of like here's a crazy world. There's really no explanation. You don't have to yep. read a graphic novel or a digital comic to understand it. it is what it is. What, it was like two, three hours. Well, I guess then at the end, did you you know feel like you wanted to play it again? As far as like the story continuing, because I was kind of like, I want to play it again, you know, right now to get more of an experience and to sort of, again, complete the journey as it's sort of put before you. But also a part of me just felt like, you know what, it was what it was and it's just, let's just leave it alone. I only played through it once, but I remember distinctly thinking when I beat it, like, I could totally see this being the type of game that like two, three years from now, I'm just, you know, I'm sick or something, I'm just sitting home and I don't have anything to do. It's like. Now let's play through Journey again. I, yeah. It's been a while, I kind of forgot that feeling. I'll just go through the whole thing right now. Yeah, I agree. It's kind of like if I, I watch a movie that I really like. Plus it's Robocop, I'm not really tempted to want to start it all over yeah, again. Very similar to Journey. It's yeah. Robocop, yeah. I don't know from this day, but it's fantastic. No, but at the same, you know what I mean? Like I want to put some space, like Dan. Mm -hmm. I want to put some space in there. It's something I will definitely revisit again though. So anyway, I feel as though we've taken quite a conversation. 
and uh, point A to point B. There you go. Travel. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Thanks for, thanks for talking to me about yeah. this video game. Yeah. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs>